Hey guys, what's up? This is Recreational420 and today I want to give you guys something to think about. So, as we continue to fight to legalize recreational cannabis throughout the state, uh, we need to remember that the people who are opposed to cannabis, or let me say it this way, uh, the way to get people on your side in any, any sort of like, especially such an emotional thing like this where it's like people on both sides are super emotional, um, the, the, the way you get people on your side isn't through uh manipulation or emotional manipulation and through like using like really crazy intense like visual imagery uh like sick kids and stuff like that um the way you do it is just by by showing your point you don't argue the the point of a conversation with somebody who's who doesn't um who doesn't consume cannabis sh shouldn't come from like it shouldn't come from anger. Um, you should you should aim to understand that person, and then as you understand them, figure out how within that understanding of their life you can kind of say, okay, well, taking your life, I can show you how you can either enhance it or how cannabis has absolutely nothing. Um, it's going to impact nothing in your life, in your own personal daily life, uh, because if you're not a user, then it doesn't matter. It's like it's like gay marriage. Um, there's a bunch of people who are against it because of religious beliefs and a bunch of other different reasons, whatever they may be. But at the end of the day, what two people do in their house doesn't physically affect your life, doesn't actually affect your life, doesn't um, two gay people like or two people of the same sex getting married isn't going to all of a sudden put you out of work. It isn't all of a sudden going to make your kid a drug addict. It isn't going to all of a sudden like do anything. And the same thing with cannabis legalization. Just because you don't necessarily like it doesn't mean that um, nobody should have it. Nobody has the right to do it. And that's what you have to fight. We have to fight for our right. Um, that's all it is. You just have to fight for your right. <laughs> I just want to play that song so bad. Um, but no, that's what it is. You have to fight um, for your right the same way that they're fighting for theirs. And the best way, like I said, it's not to beat them down with your thoughts and your ideas and your way. It's about understanding them and then giving them something, um, something substantive that like, as an example and an explanation and just show them how within their life, like, you know, if they do decide to like ingest how it could change and if they don't, how it's not going to affect them at all. And that's basically it. Um, I would hate and I really do. I hate to see people fighting and arguing and like getting into like huge like matches against people who are you know, pro or against, because it always goes down this really dark and narrow hallway that like you can't come back from. So, and the other thing, especially if you're doing it online, um, everybody can read it. Everybody can read it and everybody can see what you're doing and saying and how you're acting. And if you're going and being this crazy aggressive person online over pot, um, it doesn't make it look good. And also if you're attacking somebody who's against it, all you're doing is feeding the fuel for all those people who agree with them to come and then attack you and then those people then attack them and your people attack, and it just grows and grows and grows and nothing ever gets done so the biggest thing we can do is as cannabis users and cannabis smokers is is just try to be as reasonable as we can and understanding that not everybody's going to uh, um to accept it and like it but everybody should accept and give everybody uh the respect as adults to uh to say yo you, if you're if you're over the age of 21 then you can you can do what you want like you can have your fun on the weekend and after work however you want and that's okay the same exact way that uh alcohol became illegal and then it was legalized i can almost guarantee you that if we could go back in time to when uh alcohol was uh turned from a banned substance into a legal recreational substance that there was massive and massive, massive, massive amounts of uh, people against it, but it just took a little bit of time to understand that uh, as adults, if you took a little bit of alcohol and were responsible with it, it was just a really easy, fun way to relax. And that's all cannabis is. And I think that us as the younger generation have to do our best to teach the older generation that, hey, look, we're not drug addicts. We're not... Um, we're not here trying to waste our life away. Like this is just something we do for fun after work on the weekend and it doesn't take over your entire life. It doesn't have to. And 
what somebody else does in the privacy of their own home should never, ever, ever, ever affect you. And if it does, figure out why. Because <laughs> me smoking here in my house should never make you lose your job or should never make you hate yourself. Like, it's just what I'm doing for myself and it, you're doing for yourself. And we should all be just, I don't know, I feel like uh, there's too much fighting and there's too much, there's, especially for like, especially from us, this is a, the plant, uh, this plant is all about love. It's all about bringing people together. And yes, sometimes you do have to be forceful, but to be forceful in your opinion doesn't mean to be violent with it. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna continue to uh, dive into this later as we go on. And as this channel grows, I'm gonna get into conversations that are uncomfortable and maybe aren't like the most um, socially acceptable within cannabis circles uh but I, I feel like if we're gonna progress as an industry if we're gonna progress as a people then we we just have to go through this tough stuff that like nobody likes to deal with and that's pretty much it <laughs> i'm just a dude trying to make it so uh yeah and that was my little rant this has been recreational 420 leave your comments down in the comment section and let's see what happens <laughs> i'll be back in a couple days and uh we'll see what happens <laughs>